بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى all throughout the Quran and the Quran is the divine speech of Allah regardless will okay al kafirun even though the dis- disbelievers hate it Wallo Kari al Mushrikun, even though the Mushrikun hate it, Wallo Kari al Ahla Bidah, and even though some of Ahla Bidah hate it, they, they disagree with that. The the Jahamiyyah, the Ma'atala, those people who negate the divine sifat and some of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they negate and they say the Quran is makhluk that it's created, or the Quran is like the Isha'ira, Isha'ira, they say the Quran is a ibara on Kalam Allah, that it is a, uh, it, it's a way the Quran is articulated. It's not the actual Quran, or it's not the actual speech of Allah. All this dalal. And so many people making mistakes about the Quran, speaking about the Quran with no knowledge. It suffices us the statements of the Salaf. Quran, the Quran, Kalam Allah. It suffices the Kalam of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Kalam Allah, Musa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke to Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Had to tisma kalam Allah. Allah lets us know that in the Quran that we should, uh, uh, that was even in a situation of jihad in Surah Al Bara, Allah refers to the Quran as the kalam of Allah, His speech. And that we should give da'wah. Even under those situations, calling them to listen to the speech of Allah, to hear the speech of Allah, and believe in it. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran mentions a few things that we need to fear. He orders us to fear these things. So this is the reality of taqwa, that if we, in our hearts, it won't be just a matter that Allah ordered us to, but we'll feel that. The more knowledge we have, the more we know these things are real, they exist and they're in store for us, وَعِيَادٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ النَّارِ Then we will we'll, we'll gain taqwa. That's iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ أَتَّقُوا النَّارَ لَتِي وَقُودُهَا النَّاسُ وَالْحِجَارَةِ عِدَّتْ لِلْكَافِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear the fire. So here Allah orders us to fear the fire. وَتَّقُوا النَّارَ لَتِي which has been prepared for mankind, for people, and stones. Allah is going to fill the health with stones and mankind. And it's been prepared. It's a place, it's a dwelling place for the disbelievers. If you disbelieve in Allah, you disbelieve in the speech of Allah, that, that's what's been prepared for you. May Allah bless us to have real taqwa and to fear. And taqwa, as we mentioned, stay away from the muharramat, the, 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 the muharram, and enjoining that which we have been ordered to, to do. So doing the commandments of Allah and avoiding the, His prohibitions, that's taqwa. So may Allah increase our taqwa, so that way we will truly feel that. When we hear that ayat, we, we will feel that in our hearts. And we will be fearful. That's, the, that's how the believers are. We're so weak. We hear the Quran, we can turn it off, we can turn it on. We hear it in Salat, we want to hurry so we can finish the Salat. Where are we? We have to question our Iman. May Allah guide us and help us, O oh Allah. Please purify our hearts. And another ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions another thing we, we should fear. And this is Ahli Iman. They fear these things. Qala ta'ala, turjuna fi, And fear the day that you will return and what you will re- all return we're all going to see Yom Qiyamah we're all going to see the day of judgment we should fear that day why? because many people are going to be called out for the sins they did they're going to be held accountable for the way they treated people they cursed this one they harmed that one they stole from this one they oppressed that one so if you think you got away with it in this life you won't in the next all of us will, will be held accountable for, the, for our deeds on the day of judgment so Allah orders us to fear that day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَقَالْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ 
as we said, and fear Allah. And fear Allah, who you ask for your mutual rights. Verily Allah is over, is a witness to everything. Fear Allah. Allah orders us to fear Him. He says, fear the fire. Fear the day of judgment. Fear Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this is taqwa. This is all a part of taqwa. And we ask Allah the Almighty to increase our iman, increase our taqwa, and bless us to be of the salihin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins. And let this, this lesson be something on our scale of good deeds in this life as well as the hereafter, to, to help us in the hereafter. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.